Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you integrate and heal the pattern and beliefs of maladaptive daydreaming. This is an emotional EMDR mini course whose goal is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and building resilience to this pattern and beliefs. It is recommended that you use this program in full screen mode, while sitting still and upright. Follow the movements of the ball or pattern on the screen with your eyes. As the words from the audio are spoken, notice the feelings they evoke in your body and any mental images that may arise. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, or if you are not able to use video, you can also tap on one or more EFT points. How it works. In step one, we evoke the distressful emotional state of the belief or pattern. Note. This can be emotionally triggering. Take full responsibility for your well-being. In step two, we offer ourselves loving, compassionate self-acceptance for this state and beliefs. We then reframe the belief, pattern or state with new positive suggestions to the mind. We then bridge the mind into the new, more positive reality. We finally express gratitude for the new positive reality, taking it as fact. Ready. Section 1. Unpacking Emotional Experiences. We begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still deeply love, honor and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I feel exhausted living in fantasies of my goals, as if they're already achieved, leaving me with no energy for reality. I constantly seek external validation to prove myself and my worth, which is draining. I'm haunted by thoughts of proving wrong those who doubted me, and it's an endless cycle. My ego drives me to be better, richer, and more successful than others, and this pressure is overwhelming. I ruminate endlessly about my ambitions, which leads to mental fatigue and procrastination. I feel like I've already succeeded in my fantasies, making real-world efforts seem pointless. I'm trapped in a loop of imagining success and then feeling like a failure when reality doesn't match. My trauma triggers play out in these fantasies, tiring me further and affecting my mental health. The need to be famous and successful is a heavy burden that I carry all the time. I feel stuck because my imagined achievements make actual tasks feel redundant. I often feel like I'm running out of gas, both mentally and physically, because of these exhausting fantasies. I'm living in a world where I've already failed my goals in reality, which is demotivating. My need for external validation is rooted in past experiences and feels unending. The constant comparison with others in my mind leaves me feeling lesser and drained. I feel disconnected from the present because I'm always living in a future that never arrives. I'm burdened by the belief that I need to be more successful than my peers to be worthy. I'm constantly battling feelings of inadequacy and failure, which are amplified by these fantasies. I often feel like I'm not doing enough, even when I'm mentally exhausted from overthinking. The pressure of these imagined scenarios makes it hard for me to focus on real tasks. I'm living in a mental loop of success and failure that's disconnected from my actual life. Section 2. Feel into this balanced, compassionate perspective from your inner coach. Maintain your attention on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I warmly welcome the exhaustion from living in my goal fantasies. Acknowledging the creativity in my visions. I gently accept my need for external validation, understanding it's a part of my human experience. I lovingly acknowledge my thoughts of proving others wrong, seeing them as a reflection of my deep desire for recognition. I compassionately recognize my ego's drive for success, understanding it's a part of my ambition. I kindly hold space for my endless rumination, seeing it as a sign of my dedication to my goals. I embrace the feeling that my real-world efforts are pointless due to my achieved fantasies, understanding it's part of my imaginative nature. I accept the feeling of being trapped in success-failure cycles, recognizing it as part of my journey towards self-discovery. I compassionately observe my trauma triggers in fantasies, understanding they are echoes of my past. 
I lovingly accept my burden of needing to be famous and successful, acknowledging my aspirations. I hold with kindness the feeling that actual tasks feel redundant, recognizing the power of my imagination. I warmly welcome feelings of running out of gas, seeing them as indicators of the hard work my mind is doing. I compassionately accept living in a world of imagined failure, understanding it's a part of my creative process. I gently acknowledge my unending need for validation, seeing it as a journey towards self-love. I embrace my mental comparisons with others, understanding it's a part of my human nature to seek belonging. I lovingly acknowledge my disconnection from the present, seeing it as a part of my visionary nature. I hold space for my belief that I need to outdo my peers, understanding it's a reflection of my drive for excellence. I compassionately recognize my feelings of inadequacy and failure, knowing they are part of my growth. I accept my feelings of not doing enough, understanding they stem from my high personal standards. I gently hold the pressure from imagined scenarios, recognizing it as a testament to my ability to dream big. I warmly welcome my mental loop of success and failure, seeing it as a part of my unique life story. Section 3. Visualizing Positive Change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to embrace my actual journey towards goals, finding joy in each real step I take. I am open to seeing my worth independently, appreciating my inherent value beyond external validation. I could consider the strength in my desire for recognition, channeling it into constructive self-belief. It would be nice if I acknowledged my ambition as a positive force, guiding me to healthy success. It is possible that focusing on actionable steps can bring me more fulfillment than endless rumination. I can start appreciating the uniqueness of my real-world efforts, valuing them over mere fantasies. I am willing to explore the lessons in my success-failure cycles, growing stronger from each experience. I have the opportunity to heal from my trauma triggers, finding peace in the present moment. I am capable of balancing my aspirations with self-care, ensuring my ambitions nurture me. I embrace the idea of finding worth in the tasks at hand, engaging fully with the present. I am ready to refuel my energy, focusing on self-care and realistic goal setting. I am beginning to see the value in embracing reality, transforming imagined failures into learning opportunities. I am receptive to internal validation, nurturing a sense of self-love and acceptance. I am shifting towards appreciating my unique journey, rather than comparing myself to others. I am open-minded about living in the now, cherishing the present moment's opportunities. I am allowing myself to acknowledge my achievements, irrespective of others. Paths. I can imagine transforming feelings of inadequacy into steps towards personal excellence. It might be beneficial to celebrate my efforts, recognizing the hard work behind my thoughts. I am prepared to focus on achievable goals, finding satisfaction in realistic progress. I am choosing to focus on harmonizing my inner and outer worlds, creating a balanced and fulfilling life. Section 4. Bridging the two worlds from emotion to aspiration. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I feel exhausted living in fantasies of my goals, as if they're already achieved, leaving me with no energy for reality, I warmly welcome this exhaustion, acknowledging the creativity in my visions, and I am choosing now to embrace my actual journey towards goals, finding joy in each real step I take. Although I constantly seek external validation to prove myself and my worth, which is draining, I gently accept this need, understanding it's a part of my human experience, and I am open to seeing my worth independently, appreciating my inherent value beyond external validation. Even though I'm haunted by thoughts of proving wrong those who doubted me, and it's an endless cycle, I lovingly acknowledge these thoughts, seeing them as a reflection of my deep desire for recognition, and I could consider the strength in this desire, channeling it into constructive self-belief. Although my ego drives me to be better, richer, and more successful than others, and this pressure is overwhelming, I compassionately recognize this drive, 
understanding it's a part of my ambition, and it would be nice if I acknowledged my ambition as a positive force, guiding me to healthy success. Even though I ruminate endlessly about my ambitions, leading to mental fatigue and procrastination, I kindly hold space for this rumination, seeing it as a sign of my dedication to my goals, and it is possible that focusing on actionable steps can bring me more fulfillment than endless rumination. Although I feel like I've already succeeded in my fantasies, making real-world efforts seem pointless, I embrace this feeling, understanding it's part of my imaginative nature, and I can start appreciating the uniqueness of my real-world efforts, valuing them over mere fantasies. Even though I'm trapped in a loop of imagining success and then feeling like a failure when reality doesn't match, I accept this feeling, recognizing it as part of my journey towards self-discovery, and I am willing to explore the lessons in these cycles, growing stronger from each experience. Although my trauma triggers play out in these fantasies, tiring me further and affecting my mental health, I compassionately observe these triggers, understanding they are echoes of my past, and I have the opportunity to heal from them, finding peace in the present moment. Even though the need to be famous and successful is a heavy burden that I carry all the time, I lovingly accept this burden, acknowledging my aspirations, and I am capable of balancing my aspirations with self-care, ensuring my ambitions nurture me. Although I feel stuck because my imagined achievements make actual tasks feel redundant, I hold with kindness this feeling, recognizing the power of my imagination, and I embrace the idea of finding worth in the tasks at hand, engaging fully with the present. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go into gratitude. Section 5. Preemptive Gratitude for Transformation. I am grateful for my journey, embracing each step with joy and fulfillment. I appreciate my inner strength, finding peace and value within myself. I am thankful for my desire for recognition, channeling it into positive self-growth. I cherish my ambition, seeing it as a guiding light towards my true potential. I am grateful for my dedication to my goals, turning my dreams into reality. I value my unique real-world efforts, recognizing their importance over fantasies. I am thankful for the lessons learned from each success and failure, growing stronger every day. I appreciate my ability to heal from the past, finding tranquility in the present. I am grateful for my aspirations, balancing them with self-love and care. I cherish the opportunity to engage fully in the present, finding value in every task. I am thankful for the energy to pursue my dreams, renewing my spirit with self-care. I appreciate my creative mind, turning imagined failures into learning opportunities. I am grateful for my journey towards self-love, embracing internal validation. I value my unique path, free from the need to compare myself to others. I am thankful for living in the present moment, cherishing each opportunity it brings. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started, and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one, several or many uses of this program to completely clear or reframe this pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.